Hi everyone, shall we have Charles Nails? We have a parcel. Shall we have a look see? So Born Pretty had a offer on where you got 25% uh, off any of the new items on the website. And they have just set up brushes. So I had to have them because I needed some new ones anyway. So I've got the, um, where is it? I'll show you these ones. I've got a few of these, the white ones. Let me see how I. But these ones are the new ones. So they look gorgeous. So let's have a look. I mean, you don't have to order all of them, not unless you're greedy like me. But I mean, it's the sort of thing I use every, you know, almost every day anyway. Oh, these are just stunning. Look, it's like a jelly nude handle. It's lush. It's got glitter everywhere. And it's got like a, a black metallic end on it. And that is super thin. I love to keep you posted and let you know what these are like. No, I like to keep the ends on there because when you're shoving them in there, you bend them. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, that's not going to go on properly, is it? Because it's got that thing on. Never mind. That is the first one. So this next one I've got. What did that one say it was? Let's have a look. Uh, it doesn't, but it's five six three seven nine dash six. That looks like five six three seven nine dash six. So, but if you got the new brushes, that you know, there's only two like little ones. This is the other one. I'll do this one next instead of that one. Don't mind me today. It's been one of them there. Uh, yeah. Oh, drone brush. Don't tell you on them. Oh, it tells you on that one, but not the other one. Anyway, so this one says it's a drone brush. So that's a bit longer than the previous one, than that one. Yep. Yeah. Definitely a lot longer. are so tiny obviously they come with um you know like packing powder in the brushes so you have to get all that out and only just give them a little flick and give them a little clean run some base coat or something through them as well i always leave gel whatever gel i'm using on the brush and then i clean them before i use them the next time um that's how i look after my brushes anyway this is the um, ombre brush. That's lovely. So I'll be able to show you on this one so I, you can see it's stiff. So all you do is just give it a little wiggle. A little wiggle and give it a little flick. And you'll be able to get all of the packing tape out. It's a lovely brush. And then like I say, I just give it a little clean with IPA and give it a little clean with base coat and that'll make sure you haven't got that one go back on there. What a shame. Never mind. Because I find when you put them back in there, you run the risk of bending the brush. Never mind. See what I mean? Here we go. Once you've got some base coat on it'll be fine. And then we've got a little pointy brush. Five, six, three, seven, nine, zero. So this is number two. I'll leave all the links below anyway. Is it's 
like a like a 3D brush, you know, when you get your you can mould your like gel, not gel. Like your moulding putties and stuff, you can, you know, push them and create the little flowers and things with it. That's what that one is for. Keep that on there. And this one is just a straight, this is number three. This is like a straight edge brush. So you can do lots of things with this. You can I like these type of brushes for clean up as well that when you want to get a nice straight edge for cleaning. I like them for that, but you can use them for ombres as well. Not ombres. Yeah, the other one, marble. You know, you can run it, scoop it up with that and just put it on the nail. So you can use it for that. You can use it for whatever you so desire, because they're yours. You don't if you've got a brush that you like. Uh, I'm not gonna put that in there. I'm frightened they're gonna get stuck. There you go. And then we've got number number four. Could have done them in number order if I'd realised they were they had numbers on. <laughs> but I didn't. Eat. And then we've got an overlook. Now I like these for gel application. If I'm doing the, you know, the potted gels. They're nice for them. I love these. The jelly, like a jelly nude. You can see my freckles through there, can't you? It's like a jelly nude. I love them. Onyx is the word that springs to mind, but I'm not sure it is. <laughs> Mental pause, I tell you. There we are. So that is the brushes. Shite everywhere. Those. What else did I get? I got some reflective sequin gel. This is 53923-2. So there's a few different ones you can get. This is number two. Everything comes super well packaged from Born Pretty. There's no leakage, no breakage, no nothing when you order from Born Pretty. You know it's always going to come nicely. This is BPR502, it says on here. Oh well. Just. Ouch. I'm always stabbing myself with these because they're super sharp. Mm, look at that. Oh, lovely. I'll have to swatch that. I'll just keep leave the lid on like that for now. I've got a rhinestone glue. See what this is like. I'm hoping it's nice and thick because I like the thick ones. Oh, I've had a little look at this one. Oh, yeah, I did I? I wanted to see if it was thick, and it is. Look how gloopy it is. But we'll, uh, we'll do something with that. I'll have to take that off. Right, I'll use a black one so you can see how thick it is. So if you put a, a glob of that on, it's not going to go anywhere. Can you see? That's a sort of rainstorm glue I like. So it doesn't... Your, your gem's not going to slide everywhere. Okay. Because otherwise they do. 
I don't like the runny ones. Put it that way. I love that each serve serve a purpose. To be fair, that is the rhinestone glue. Ugh, sticky already. I do have this one, which is runny. Um, but I use that for sealing in. I run it along the gems like that to seal them in, and then I put me. Me, uh, what you call it? Yeah, them things. Little caviar. So I just run it along there, and it seals your gems in, and then you put your caviar beads on, and it stops them. And as you, I mean, these have started to grow. You can see, but there's no gems missing. I should do a video, really, shouldn't I? How to get your gems to stay on? But that's, but that is a runny one. But that's what I use that one for. So each, you know, each one has its its purpose. Whether it's runny or thick, just depends. And last but not least, eight and one nail glue. So, I'm trying to remember what this. I'm hoping it's going to look. No, oh, it's not going to list. Well, it's got the ingredients on everything on there. And that is five, six, three, eight, six. Let's do the glue test. So it is quite. That's going to take a while to gloop. Go in. Go in. <laughs> you ready? Oh. Gloop. Instead of me trying to remember, I'll put it on the screen because I don't want to get it wrong. But yeah, there you go. That's... And I love these sexy bottles because I've I've got some other ones like that. And I want to put them all on my shelves. So they look pretty. So that is that one. So there you go. Um, let's swatch this one. Oldie brush. And um, use a black swatch stick. Let's have a look at this. So that's your, your base gel. Oh, this is pretty. It's one of those pots that you have to mess about with though. Get everything where you want it. It's a big bit. Do you want a big bit? Rubber base is good for um encapsulating this sort of glitter. That's what I use. That is very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. Couple of lumpy bumpy bits there. Sticking up a bit. Wow, some gorgeous colours in that. Get that nuked. Right, so there we go. That is, yeah. What's it called again? Reflective sequin gel. Oh, reflective. Right, okay, well, I'll, I'll put the light off in a second. But that is stunning. Look at the colours in it. Beautiful. Right, okay. Get my torch. Make sure I get the right one this time. <laughs> Got my UV one the last time. Didn't work. So light's going off. Boop. And then we'll see how super shiny this. There we go. But it's, it's like super reflective in real life. Gorgeous. Camera doesn't like it. But there we go. Put that down. Lights back on. Boop. There we are. That is that one. This one we'll have a play with. We'll do a proper video and we'll try out each of the eight in one bits that it does. And we'll test the gem glue. See how tough it is. But that to today is your whack jack. Um, don't forget to hit the little thumbs up. That would be really grateful. I do buy these with my own pennies. I do get sent PR to review for you. But I bought these with my own pennies. So if you could show your appreciation by um, hitting the thumbs up. That would be fantastic. I'm not uh, begging you to subscribe. But I would love it if you did. You can unsubscribe anytime you like. And if you hit the notification bell. Ding, ling, ling. It'll let you know every time I upload. And other than that, I'll see you lovely lot in the next one.
拜拜。